Well, hello everybody. Welcome to PBM Money. Today, I'm going to expose what I've been doing for the last seven days. I was going to title it Exposing Myself, but I decided that probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but anyway, uh, through the holidays, I uh, subscribed to Savannah Smiles' vlog. And she did, she was doing something called Vlogmas, where she posted a video every day. And she, towards the end, she was complaining about uh, different aspects of it. And it just so happened that at about that time, I was on vacation from my other job. Well, I was on vacation for two weeks. And then the one week I worked at the other job. And so I had seven days basically off uh, from both jobs. And I thought, you know, because I... When, when you do videos, um, for me anyway, the creativity part is not the hard part. It's the, it's the grind. I mean, you have to be up, you have to be, and I know I don't, I don't portray energy. <laughs> but, I mean, there are just certain things that, um, and you always feel like you can do more, you always feel like you can push more. And, uh, and so when I saw that, I thought, you know what? I think for the next seven days, I'm going to record a video every day. That sounds pretty easy, right? Okay. Now, one of the things that works in my benefit is the format that I use is kind of like Meet Kevin. I do not edit. Uh, mainly because I don't know how, but secondly, that was never the persona I wanted to put out there. I didn't want it to be a glitzy, uh, well-cut, well-timed uh, video. I wanted it to just be, you know, two people sitting around a table talking about finances, and that's kind of the feel I've gone for. That's kind of what I want. So I do not edit. So I figured that would work in my advantage. Now, the second thing I have in my advantage is um, I spend a lot of time at my other jobs brainstorming for ideas uh, for videos. And so I've got two or three pages out there of show titles that I can expand on at any one time. Now I learned something about that. Just because you've got a title and just because you have an idea does not mean that you can automatically crank out bullet points and make that happen. I learned that this week. So, the things I learned. I am, I feel like I'm more flexible and creative than I thought I was. I still have a little bit more energy left in me than I thought I did. I also learned that being on a schedule is important as far as YouTube is in, in, involved. Up until about three or four months ago, when I recorded a video, I just put it out. I didn't care about the how many it was a week. If I put out five a week, great. If I put out one a week, great. But I've started um, scheduling them on YouTube. And so with this seven day output, now I'm two and a half, three weeks out with videos and I do two a week. So that takes a lot of pressure off. And I think in the long run, what that's going to do is it's going to, again, get the creative juices rolling again. Um, the other thing is, as a content creator, it kind of stretched me. Um, even though I don't edit, uh, I do. I did still keep my regular schedule at my other job. Um, and last night, after a full day of work, I had to come home, put together a video, record it, and upload it. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but on top of a full day at another job and then coming in and having to be up and create on the dime 
Okay, that, that takes a little bit of doing. I also learned that self-imposed pressure can be a good thing. Because there was a couple of videos that I put out that I'm not sure that I would have put out on my two-a-week schedule. But because I had to uh, pump one out a day, I took a little bit more risk on the video. And I'm, I'm glad I did because that video turned out to be pretty darn good. Um, and I, I did learn that I'm going to continue to keep my brainstorming list. Um, and I think the, the last thing that I think I learned is I think I learned that I'm going to try to keep the two videos per week and I'm going to try to stay a week or a week and a half out as far as content. And I'll tell you what made me think of that. I, I woke up this morning and uh, I think I got food poisoning uh, last night from something I ate and I just did not feel like recording. In fact, I had decided, okay, I can't do this. But uh, fortunately, I was able to get some sleep and I woke up feeling a lot better. Uh, so I decided, okay, I, I set this goal and I want, I want to meet this goal. And today was kind of the coup de gras for the seven day video because today I get to talk about uh, the experiment that I was doing that if I hadn't told you, you wouldn't have known because I didn't spit them all out at one time. I'm still on schedule, but from my point of view, I'm working two weeks out and that for me is huge. Um, and I could tell from the other creators, like it's hard for them to go on vacation because even though my show is not monetized, theirs is. And if you miss a scheduled uh, upload, it affects the algorithm, which affects the viewership, which affects the ad revenue, which affects your income. So they're under constant pressure to keep that up, and I get it. Mine was self-imposed. I can't imagine uh, being one of the big boys where I had, you know, $20,000 on the line for each upload that I made. $20,000 per upload. I would have recorded this morning sitting on the toilet if I had to. <laughs> but I did I did learn a whole lot. I'm, I'm happy that I uh, put myself through that. I wasn't really at the time, and I get why uh, Savannah Spiles, I understand why she was feeling the pressure. Because her format's completely different than mine. She has a lot of uh, editing that she does. She does an outstanding job, by the way. Uh, she records a lot more for each vlog that she does. So she has a lot more content that she has to deal with and put together to make and tell a story. She was under a lot of pressure. And, you know, and I've got 30, 40 years on her in age. So she's got a lot more energy and she was still feeling the pressure. But I think, uh, I think it's going to help her to consolidate her channel. She's having a little bit of trouble getting uh, subscribers in there. So uh, go over there and show her some love. Savannah Smiles, uh, and it's a vlog. Go over there and, and uh, show her some love. Well, I just wanted to uh, uh, come on and tell you about the experiment that I have been doing. I didn't tell anybody about it. I wanted to wait till it was done. I wanted to ex experience it, I wanted to go through it, I wanted to feel it, uh, and see what I could learn about myself, about the videos, um, and I think I've made the right choices. I mean, to have the camera, and the lighting, and the running list, uh, and everything set in place where, uh, kind of like me, Kevin. I didn't set out to do it like that. My my whole concept was just, uh, you know, sitting around a kitchen table talking about finances, and and I because of that it enables me to do these videos uh, while working around eighty to ninety hours a week doing other things. 
So, and then adding on top of it, now granted, I, I took a I took a week off for my full-time job, but still I had things I had to get done. Um, so, lots of pressure, but lots of fun. Results were good. I learned a lot, and I'm glad I did it. If you get the opportunity, you should Im impose certain limits on yourself just to see if you can learn and grow from that. And I'm going to do this again. I promise you that will happen. I don't know when, but it will. Well, you guys have a great day, a great week, and happy investing.